It's the Grand Prix season, the premier motorcycle racing event held and loved by all. To all the Grand Prix lovers out there, hello and welcome. Speaking of MotoGP riders, the biggest question is how do MotoGP riders stay fit and what can we learn from them? Let's find out together. We all know that athletes are considered the fittest people ever existed. It is a matter of fact that their sports required them to be in that certain way. Not all sports, but particularly few sports, made their players the fittest among others. Let's talk about the sport which demands such physical fitness from its players. The motorcycle racing. Yes, you heard that right. Motorcycle racing involves racers grasping a particular route multiple times, and the winner is decided among who completes the lap first. The only challenge is environmental conditions, duration, speed, and the vehicle they are carrying. While we are talking about the sport, MotoGP is usually recognized as the highest point of motorcycle racing. That is so because motorcycles do not travel at such high speeds on their own. They are ridden by the racers who have been trained to do so. Handling a 160kg motorcycle with at least 250 brake horsepower on tap and average speeds of 200 to 250 km per hour for 45 minutes non-stop in the most exhausting riding position is no small task. It requires skill, along with mental and physical stability. Now the most interesting part. How are these racers so physically stable to go on such an adventure? Well, the most important thing is their stamina. To accelerate the race's stamina, MotoGP riders are trained with intense cardio exercises throughout the year. These cardio exercises increase the muscle strength while keeping their muscle volume stable. The physical training sessions are broken into four periods a year. Preseason follows with a racing period, summer break, and completes at the end of the season. Starting off with the preseason, this period starts a few months before the actual racing event. Due to that, Physical exercise arrangements are initiated in December. They are all cardio exercises to overall increase the stamina and stability of the player. In that period, the racer exercises for 6 hours a day for 6 days a week. The layout of physical activity is distributed among cycling and swimming with a breakdown of 3 hours each. Now, the racing period. The major focus throughout this period is on strength. Therefore, the exercises considered are to increase muscle volume and strength. Following the racing period comes the summer break. This is mainly a halfway point throughout a racing period, where racers have a month's break after their half of the races and just before the remaining half. Finally comes the end season, where racers normally take a month's rest. Meanwhile, to have continuity in their flow, they take part in various sports like badminton, basketball, and cycling, etc. Then again comes the preseason, and the circle continues. Now, the biggest question is what particular cardio exercise layout do riders engage themselves in? First, the squats. A strong core is essential for a strong body. Squats mainly focus on building the strength of the lower body, including thighs, pelvic area, and lower back. It can be performed with or without weights. Second, the stability ball. Another most effective core building exercise involves the stability ball. Just like the plank position, the most abundant way to do this is to slide the ball front and back using the core muscles. It is important for a rider to have strong abs and abdominal muscles to accelerate his body on the seat. Another most amazing exercise for a strong core is reverse bear crawl. It also improves overall strength. This exercise is similar to a spider moving backward. This exercise is considered a good cardiorespiratory exercise. Now the most effective exercise, the cycling. There is no compromise in regards to cycling when it comes to core strength. It is the most effective leisure considered in decades. This particular sport is mostly played by the riders to increase their strength and stability. Along with this, various other physical exercises are done according to the requirements of the rider. With the physical workout, the riders also have their focus on good dietary intake. The key factor is hydration. It is extremely important for a rider to stay hydrated. Paul Espagano in one of his interviews said, I normally drink a lot, but on race day, right up until I get ready, I drink and drink water until I go to the toilet and it is like the water is just passing through. I do this even in cold conditions, because I think it is super important to be hydrated, even mentally. He also mentioned his dietary weaknesses. 
stating that desserts are harder to resist. Sometimes in the winter, I often make oven-cooked bananas with sugar on top. Unbelievable. As a kid, I didn't even like dessert, I know. But recently, chocolate cold on is amazing and Nutella is hard to resist. The dietary routines of MotoGP riders mainly revolve around proteins and moderate carbohydrates. They don't eat much when they wake up. They eat after having a warm-up session. They mostly start their day with oil and turkey and usually have rice and chicken in their lunch. On weekends, they take their dietary supplements like energy gels or bars and also some caffeine. Racers fitness is the key factor when it comes to motorcycling. An article published in Men's Journal by Mike Simone after his experience in the world of MotoGP states that there is no such thing as being fit or not. We're all fit in our own ways, just some are more so than others. Is 5% body fat fit? Sure, it's been the perceived image of fitness from the beginning. Is bench pressing or squatting 400 pounds fit? Yeah, that is too. Running a sub 4 hour marathon? Yep, that is too. Is a professional linebacker fit? Of course he is. A golfer? Yes, he is. How about motorsports? Where is the power of the vehicle doing the work? Or is it? High-powered bikes tightly maneuvering turns and ripping down straightaways. You better believe it. We all learned from this fact that, as exciting and premier as this sport is, it requires hard work and dedication. That's it for today, guys. Keep yourself safe, and we'll see you in the next video. What was the most interesting thing that you learned from today's video? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the content or learned anything new, then a like will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Listen.